Look at Miss Fisher. I know it's so hard not to look at your mom's and dad's. So describing this school year has been a tough one. We were the first school to completely close due to COVID and limited staff in early September. Does anyone remember that? No. They don't remember. Do y'all remember? <laughs> um, it was devastating. But together, we overcame the first of many hurdles. As our community continued to deal with COVID health-related issues, our Oklahoma weather gave us some surprises this school year, which we shouldn't be surprised by that anymore, should we? <laughs> Through the unpredictable weather and the ever-changing health protocols, we can confidently say that as a school community, we are stronger. And because of that strength, look at what these amazing kids have been able to do this year. A little bit of academic data for you. As you know, our students participate three times a year on the STAR literacy test. And I'm incredibly proud to share with you that on our final assessment for the year, 90% of students at Washington met their benchmark for spring. <laughs> Families, we cannot thank you enough for your support this school year. We would not be able to do our jobs without you. Many of our families have experienced some very challenging times over the past year, and we just thank you for your continued support. We hope that if this was your first experience with Ponca City Public Schools, that it was a great one. It has been our honor to serve you and your child this year. Ms. Ellis was not with us last year, but I told the teachers and Ms. Helm, um, I told the teachers last year that um, that probably worked their hardest school year last year, but I think this school year might have trumped that. The difference is this year um, is that you knew sort of what to expect. We knew how to isolate and quarantine. We had it figured out. It was kind of down to a science. And um, I just want to thank you for handling everything with grace. And you all handled it like rock stars. And let's just give a hand to our teachers. You deserve more than a of applause. And so I just want you to know that we appreciate you very much. Students, I'm very proud of each and every one of you. I want you to always remember, look at Ms. Fisher, please. Look at me. Always remember that you are special and bright and to work with all your might, whatever you do in your life, okay? Um, boys and girls, you will always be a Washington pre-K cat, but now you officially get to be a wild cat. <laughs> we are going to present our diplomas. I'd like for students to stand, please. I'd like for Ms. Ellis to join us on the stage.
2022 high school class of 2035. Oh, 